Australia. Thanks, David. And a moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Lopez. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then it's Matthews. And it's DiVincenzo in at the one spot. And for the 76ers, the tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. Yeah, and I love the fans in Philly. They're notoriously prickly, though. Uh, they expect hard-nosed effort. If not, they'll let you hear about it. Passes it to Anadokounmpo. Here's DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. Just five to shoot. Matthews against Richardson. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. As you're talking about the Philly fans, they were even booing their team in that conference semifinal round against Toronto. Yeah, they got nervous with the season on the line. You can't take it personal. In Philly, they love you just as much as they boo you. Now here's Simmons. Got it done with the hook shot. Can't afford to lose Simmons in the screen of roll. When you do, he torches you for that mistake. Here's DiVincenzo. That's tipped, and the turnover again by Milwaukee. Richardson against Matthews. Richardson the pass to Horford. Inside. Good D by Matthews. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Milwaukee. They defeated Indiana in their last game. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Yeah, if, if you can be that much better on the glass, you're going to win the game. Here's Simmons following the basket by Chris Middleton. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That is his first foul of the game. Embiid finds Simmons. Al Richardson. Nine point game his last outing. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. And so just over a minute and a half played. Matthews against Richardson. Five on the clock. Here's Simmons. Rebounded by the Bucks. Oh, the setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Here's DiVincenzo. Knocks down the step back, Jay. And the D just a step slow, reacting to the step back. Richardson kicks to Simmons. They get a hand on it. Now, here's Matthews. He had 19 points in the win against Indiana. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Lopez. Off target from outside. 76ers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Simmons passes to Harris. Richardson outside. Back to Harris. Baseline J on the way. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, well throughout Harris's career, he's worked on building up his body, putting that added strength to good use on these tough finishes. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, Lopez, no luck. The 76ers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Simmons dishes to Richardson. Pass to Harris from 18 feet away, and no good. Great tee that time from Middleton. Down low. 
Steven Shenzo can't hit it. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Now here's Richardson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's DiVincenzo. Richardson cover. Matthews scanning the floor to the left side wing. Here's DiVincenzo. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Fade away and good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Hey, Chris, what do you think is the best way for a coach who has lost a locker room to get it back? You just got to be honest and open, Kevin. You know, everyone's adults, and, and if you can't handle the information, then, then the onus is on that player. But just look at what happened in Minnesota last year. You know, just, just terrible in the locker room. It's not good for the fans, especially the hometown fans that, that believe in this young team. And so uh, a lot of times it just comes down to clear, open communication. Here's MB. 20 points for him last game against Detroit. And his scoring's going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. And so it's Milwaukee now after the miss from Joel MB. On to Kumbo, No good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. And Horford wide open. He shoots. The 76ers again can't hit it. Here's DiVincenzo. From the arc. It's hauled in by Richardson. 76ers trailing to the paint. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. This is why you must get Simmons out the paint, because he's fantastic when it comes to dunking. The Bucks have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. The pass to Anadokounmpo. Fades back. He gets it in there. He must have a real good feel for the fadeaway. I mean, he uses it even when no one's on him. Pass to Embiid. Back to Simmons. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. The Sixers didn't want to give him any cause to look elsewhere. A great talent, but the hope with that kind of money is that he'll develop that jump shot. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And when he gets ahead of steam, you almost feel sorry for defenders. Ben Simmons, a combination of size, speed, and ball handling that can at times be unstoppable. Lopez, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. He hits the second from the line. And with his passing and driving ability, Greg, Simmons is like combining a, a power running back in football with a pinpoint passing quarterback. Uh, not much he can't do. Kevin, a football metaphor is appropriate. Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football, and the physicality and quick thinking of that sport really reflected in his style of play. Now Harris, after Chris Middleton missed from long range. Embiid, the pass to Harris. Shot clock at five. Tipped away from deep. Richardson. That shot misses. The Bucks go the other way with it. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Harris. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Philadelphia. 
Kyle O'Quinn. He's checked in for Joel Embiid. Mike Scott comes in for Al Horford. And it's James Ennison for Richardson. And then for Milwaukee, Kyle Korver. He's checked in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton comes in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Here's Simmons. Oh, oh the power on that fruit. Wow. How can you not love Simmons? I mean, some of the dunks he pulls off are insane. Hill passes to out of the Kumbo. Here's Connaughton. He averages about uh, five points a game. Giannis, no good. And, and even though it didn't go down, he did some nice work to get that inside. Here's Simmons, and there it is for him. Now it's a 3.76ers lead. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Pass to Giannis. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. The defense has done a good job of forcing him in tough shots this quarter. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. And the 76ers with some changes. Korkmaz comes in for Tobias Harris. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Simmons. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Bucks. Right wing. 76ers moving the ball around. Pass to Ennis. Puts it up from 12. And the jumper is on the mark. And the 76ers lead by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The pass to Cork to stop the drought. He's off on that one. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Ennis kicks to Neto. The 76ers have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Most teams now look to run early and often, Chris. And uh, there are some keys to finding success, aren't there, in the transition game? Yeah, and, and the first key is you run fast and you speed up the pace, but that doesn't mean you hurry and take a hurried shot. Mm -hmm. Pacing and speed is all about getting it past half court to see if the defense is set, and if they're not, to take advantage. But it's a two-step process. And for teams to just run all crazy or willy-nilly like my grandfather used to say, <laughs> uh, well, you're not going to do anything but play fast and bad. And the basket by Hill. And very slippery. George Hill, I mean, you give him a step, he'll take it all the way. Neto kicks to Ennis. Shot clock at six. Another miss by Philadelphia. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Here's Korver for three. Buries the long-range jumper. And now just a 1.76ers lead. If you do not respect that Kyle Korver has been making a living as a sniper from deep, then you haven't been doing your study. You, you don't know the scouting report. Now here's Ennis. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Middleton. And his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better over his last 10 games. He looks so much more comfortable from beyond. There's no doubt he's got the green light to let it fly whenever two. the shot's there for him. First one falls for him. The Bucks making a switch here. Browns checked in. Yeah. 
And Ennis drops them both. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. They trail by three. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Over O'Quinn. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, even though his name was swirling in trade rumors at the trade deadline last year, Robert Lopez stayed focused. I mean, just a very dependable center who shows up every night to do his job. good on the free throw and for Lopez his defense and wherewithal on the court are a huge boost yeah Lopez isn't going to be a main key to a team at this point in his career but he will be valuable off the bench as a backup center who can play starter level defense and hold down the fort that one misses well, at this stage of his career, Lopez knows who he is. He's a hustler on both ends whose energy is simply infectious. And that one's good. Quick miles. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Lopez outside. Brown outside. Outside Hill. Elbow shot. Scott pulls it in. The 76ers leading by five. 56 seconds left to play in the first quarter. He gets that one. Milwaukee's gone a meager one of six from three point land since we got started tonight. Connington kicks to Ilias Hope. Brown outside. Hill deciding where to go with it. Four on the clock. Pass to Ilias Sober. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. And that was the correct play to make. George Hill, a very discerning playmaker. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Neto, the pass to Scott. And the call will be against George Hill. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Shooting two. That's good from Scott. So one for two that time at the strike. Man, they are just living at the line. Hill with it. A 17-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Uh, yeah, and his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the boards, too. From deep. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Already a superstar, Anadokounmpo talked about how much more he can improve. I'm just trying to focus on the court. Uh, what's my next step as a basketball player? Because I know this is just the beginning. I haven't even reached my potential yet. I think I have a long way to go. And uh, maybe one day I can be top 10 in all those things. I, I feel like I can, I can do that. 
think he's already a top five player. With his skill set and physical tools, he can be an all-time great. He's shown the dedication. I think he's only going to get better. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the 76ers, we've got Kyle O'Quinn, Mike Scott out there with Ennis, and it's Neto in at the one. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Chris Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. Now, we all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters, but he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an All-Star is, a team player and a complete player, not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First-time All-Star and well-deserved. David, thank you. So it's the Bucks now. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Here's Hill. Knocks it loose. Tries it again. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Ilyasova. Offensive rebounding is all about persistence. Ilyasova showing plenty of it on that possession. Here's Neto. At the teardrop, and it's Connaughton with the rebound. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Well, there's on Ilyasova, a bit of a journeyman in the NBA, Greg, the last handful of seasons. Good motor on the glass, and he can chip in for a 20-point game every so often. See, well, we've heard some people criticize the league's obsession with the three-pointer, saying the game is less fun to watch. You and I have talked to coaches who do not like the style of play. Would you agree with that? You know what I do, Kev, but it's all in the way that it happens. So let's talk about a team like Golden State, right. okay? Golden State shoots so many threes, right? But they don't shoot yep. the most threes, and they have the best ball movement. And they still take the most number of twos. And so they have a balanced game. Now, they had three of the best shooters last season out of any team in, maybe in the history of the game. And they don't take the most threes. But then you have teams that have every guy shooting under 30%. And they're shooting 100 threes with no ball movement. Yeah, something's backwards. It's still about playing basketball and shooting threes, not shooting threes during a game that happens to be a basketball game, if that makes any sense. It does. Perfect sense. He's off on the second. Now look, and Ilya Sova played the first seven seasons of his career with the Bucks. He bounced around since then, but he earns minutes wherever he goes. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Here's Hill. Philadelphia able to drain the three. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That is his first foul of the game. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Milwaukee. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. No coverage that time. Lopez has got five now. And they're hitting the long range shots that they were missing in the first quarter but still have ground to make up. Horford finds Neto. Down to five on the shot clock. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Richardson for three. Another three for Philadelphia. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Let's talk about the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Now, here's Brown. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Middleton inside the three-point line. Misses, and he wants that one back. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Oh, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Here's Brown. 76ers getting the bucket. 
with the shot. The shot is good in the 76ers lead is cut down now to just five on the basket for Middleton. Richardson outside. He can't get that one. Some solid defense from Brown. Passes to Lopez. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on MB. The size of Lopez, I mean, that's difficult to contain, and he's effective at using it to draw fouls. It's his first trip to the line. good from Lopez an effective low post score with the feathery touch Lopez continues to prove his worth in his league Tobias Harris has checked in for Philadelphia Ben Simmons comes in for Raul Neto Giannis he's checked in for Milwaukee Matthews comes in for Brown so he picks up just one from the line that time and working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second a nice way to get your offense going did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. Fires the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Lopez has got nine points. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Pass to Simmons. And he drops it in from the low post. 13 points in the game. Oh, the physicality of Simmons on display. Showing some fight and fearlessness with plays like this. And here's Matthews from the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. And Simmons kicks to Richardson. Good D by Matthews. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. They get the rebound. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. MB. And there's the call on Tobias Hicks. That'll be his second foul of the game. Kyle Korver. He's checked in for Chris Middleton. And the Bucks with possession here. Trailing by two. Giannis kicks to Matthews. And the rejection by Embiid. A stalwart on the defensive end. Embiid is superb at making his presence felt with blocks like that. Matthews, no one around him. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Over the 76ers, the last game a win against Detroit. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave. And here is Lopez after Josh Richardson was able to get the triple. Anadokounmpo up top, guarded by Horford. Lock at six. A three from Matthews. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Horford's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA showing the top distributors of the basketball over the last 10 games. Ben Simmons is second. And those games have seen him dropping more dimes than you might have thought possible. Giannis against Horford. And to Kumbo. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Matthews with the steal. The pass to Lopez. Here's DiVincenzo. Shot clock at three. From deep three-point range. Can't hit that one. Simmons with the defensive effort. 
The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And it's under the Kumbo, penetrated. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. And how about the initiative there from Antetokounmpo? Excellent at seeing lanes to the basket and then just taking advantage. Now here's Horford. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he banks in the layup. Richardson's got the lead up to seven now for the 76ers. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Antetokounmpo. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. Well, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. Out to Harris. This one for three. Rebound Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis has got four rebounds in this game. To the middle. And Giannis throws it down. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Out to the wing. And it's Harris off the drive. Well, you look at the career of Tobias Harris, and, boy, he's bounced around a bit. Has never slowed his development or production, though. You put him anywhere, and he'll find a way to help his team. The 76ers have shot 5 of 8 from the foul line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Yeah, he was a 19th pick in the 2011 NBA draft. I mean, Harris entered the league after a quality year as a Tennessee volunteer. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Mike Scott's checked in for Embiid, and it's James Ennison for Richardson. And then for Milwaukee, Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. Milwaukee with the ball. It's a five-point game. Connaughton kicks to Corbin. Pass to Lopez. It's Hill top the key. Ball's knocked loose. Harris against Hill. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And with Harris, he's been moved so many times. You know what, Greg? You forget he's still quite young. Yeah, I mean, he really is just starting to enter what should be the prime of his career. Has improved every offseason and is a great rebounder and scorer. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Well, we knew that Tobias Harris would be one of the big names during free agency this past summer. It wasn't a lot of speculation for him when free agency hit. Ends up staying with the Sixers. And I think it makes sense for both sides. And he fits nicely next to MB. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for the 76ers. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Chris, you have been passionate about honoring those who blazed the trail for today's NBA, time out, time out. like the Globetrotters and the Wrens in the days Sorry. before integration. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the court, and, and anyone, regardless of color, nationality, of, of just paving the way for uh, for me as a basketball player, I, I want to say thank you. Let's just think about what Red Arbeck did. 
uh, drafting the first African American player, making uh, the first African American player coach, uh, and, and Bill Russell, who won the championship that year, and leaving him uh, a good team. And if you look at organizations like the Black Fives and bringing awareness to the games, and, and you just want to understand your legacy uh, culturally, and that's why I have to every time I see Mr. Bill Russell, Big O, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I give him a big hug and a, and, and a wet kiss on the cheek because uh, I just thank them for not only advancing uh, the movement in sports, but culturally. Sports has always uh, sent a message uh, to the culture and society about how cool teammates work together and how you can overcome a problem uh, by working together. And so I really thank them for enduring uh, all of the hardships that they did so that we can uh, reap the benefits. So it, it's been awesome to be part of the league and be able to shake hands Shoot with two. those that have blazed trails for us. That is so admirable on your part. That's good from Simmons. I mean, you got to love the skill set uh, Simmons possesses. A nightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stat sheet. Second free throw. No good. Bucks trail by eight. Giannis outside. Outside Hill. Here's Giannis. Good on the bucket. Andre de Kumbo's got 10. And his shot, I mean, has come around. I mean, for most of the first quarter, it looked like he might be in for a long night. Now, here's Scott. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Oh, Quinn dishes to Simmons. Sent back by Lopez. Well, Lopez is out there to set the tone defensively. I mean, he's a wildly strong defender who sends shots back with the Thor. Bucks trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. There's the pass to Corp. And the three off target. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And checking out some numbers here for Harris. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. Right around 21 points per, five rebounds, and three assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently oh, deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, it, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create for others. That's good from Harris. Raul Meadows checked in for the 76ers. Brown is checked in for Milwaukee. on that one so he goes one for two at the line and so Brown will bring it up for the Bucks. they trail by seven and guys this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year and they really took care of business against this group last year winning the season series Giannis against Scott Giannis passes to Connaughton stolen by O'Quinn and now Harris running the floor all by himself. Oh, well, once again, Harris showing off his incredible physique. Just really blowing past defenders in the open floor. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. Here's Hill. And O'Quinn sends it back. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Uh, it, it's been absolutely amazing to watch Harris mature. I mean, physically, he can handle the power. And here's Giannis. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Indiana. From deep. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Philadelphia. 
holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're over shifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the home fans tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, five rebounds, and one assist. He has bounced back nicely from what was a tough night for him in their last game. Judging by that first half, he's back to his old self again. Let's start with you, Shaq. What would you think about the 76ers? Well, having Ben Simmons size at point guard, major advantage. Can see over you, score over you, plays with power and finesse. Unstoppable in that first half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? They need to break it down. And I look at the individual areas that they're struggling. Like they're getting pounded. I mean pounded, Ernie, on the boards. That's a hustle stat. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye go to Kevin Harlan. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Ben Simmons in this game, he's been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer, starting the second half. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. And it's DiVincenzo in at point guard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And you know what? The work he's put in at the line starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Richardson. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Richardson's got the lead up to 11 now for the 76ers. Giannis against Horford. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Antetokounmpo slams it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Embiid, the pass to Horford. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Richardson. The shot from the low post is good. Richardson's got 14 points. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Well, maybe not the most well-known player in the league, but Josh Richardson has been a big source of offense, and Greg, he's done it for a while now. A, a bit of a specialist, but Richardson has no problem putting up and making threes. 
For Milwaukee, they have missed four of their eight free throws up to this point. Things not really going their way at the line yet. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, no good. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. And he sinks the second. The 76ers leading by 10. Richardson outside. Passes it to Simmons. Here's Horford. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his third assist on the night. Rock solid start for him. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Now here's Lopez. Nine points in the game so far. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Richardson. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Wow, that's their first shot of the half that hasn't found a mark. It's been a good start for them. There's the lob and the combo. Oh, just a picture perfect alley oop. You, you gotta love that. A, one, Kevin. a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. And Simmons kicks to Horford. Back to Simmons. And he uses the glass on the way. Simmons got 16 points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Onto Takumbo, passes to Matthews. Here's DiVincenzo. Outed by Simmons. Middleton finds Matthews. And stolen by Simmons. Rebound, Milwaukee. Right around three minutes into the second half. He was all alone on that one. 18 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other time guys out, need out. to lighten the load and step up. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. And a moment now to check out the numbers for Chris Middleton. Averaging about 18 points per, five rebounds, and three assists. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. I think if you talk to anyone on this team, they believe in his abilities 100%. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Simmons left side. Richardson outside. Five to shoot. Here's the three. Rebound Milwaukee. Honda DeCumbo's got five rebounds tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Ben Simmons. Clearly a foul. The Bucks have made five of ten free throw attempts. A lot of misses. Shooting two. The first one falls. As it seems like some teams have been in rebuild mode for a long time. Is there a point at which the league should step in and, and maybe, I don't know, take over or, or give them guidance? You know, I, I really do. Um, and, and not because it's necessarily the fault of the team, because it, listen, it, it's, it's tough to win a championship. Uh, but to be a perennial 
bottom dweller, basement dweller. It, it's not good for the fans. And fans like myself, every year comes the first game, we think, hey, we could win a championship. We could do it. But, mm -hmm. you know, our, our our thought process is not based in knowledge. It's just based in our hope and will for the team. So you definitely want to keep teams straight. You want to keep them honest. And, and I think the league could find a way to step in but not step on the toes of ownership. Here's Cork Mons. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Wow, he's a confident shooter from three point range. I mean, even with the D hovering near him. Now, here's Ani Dekumbo. 11 point game. A second chance effort. Here's Lopez. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Embiid. And so Simmons will bring it up for the 76ers. Here's Richardson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wesley Matthews picks one up. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. And the first one drops. Milwaukee making a switch here. Elias Ovis checked in. Trail by 13. DiVincenzo passes to Matthews. Now Middleton. And as you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Here's Matthews. And Matthews throws it down. And that's a momentum shifter, a steal leading straight to the basket. Richardson kicks to Kirkmans. MB dishes to Simmons. 76ers moving the ball around. No problems knocking that one down. Horford's got five points now this quarter. And look, I respect how Horford rarely tries to move out of his skill level. He knows what he can do and does it well. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Back to Middleton. Pass to Ilyasova. Here's Lopez. Guarded by Horford. Lopez, no luck. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And they double up Simmons. Korkmaz kicks to Horford. Not going to go that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Richardson cover. Knocked away. And stolen by Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. I mean, how do you guard that? Simmons, he's a big guy with some incredible dribble moves. Knocked loose. Lopez passes to DiVincenzo. And Embiid with the block. And the block shot turns into a shooting foul. So the defensive effort there a bit too much as the officials will send him to the line and he'll shoot some free throws. The Bucks have made a little more than half their free throws today, 7 of 12. And they've been mediocre all season long, just about 72% from the line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Milwaukee. No 
good on the second free throw. The 76ers leading by 12. Richardson left side. And that one drops. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. That's good from Richardson. Bucks trail by 15. To the inside, Lopez. A shot that time, not on target. Good D by Embiid. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. I'm not really sure I've ever seen a center who could play bully ball in the paint and step out and hit the three, then give you the handles in the mix like Joel Embiid. I mean, him and Boogie Cousins are, are really the only two that, that come to mind. Yeah, and that one put them over the limit. And it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. Shooting two. The first one at the line is good. And even though Embiid has that deep range, he prefers to throw his weight around inside. And, and, and he should, Kevin. And at times, a lack of spacing has forced him to step outside. I mean, he's as gifted as you can get on that block. I mean, you've got to get him the ball down there with space to work. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Mike Scott's checked in for Joel Embiid. James Ennis comes in for Cork Miles. And Raul Neto is subbed in for Simmons. Richardson kicks to Neto. Horford the pass to Richardson. And it's blocked. Outside Corver. Over to the left wing. Here's Lopez. Back to Corver. From downtown. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Neto. Eight points for him. And the pass to Scott. Just four to shoot. Over Hill. The rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got six rebounds now in the game. Outside Hill. Pass to Lopez. Lays it up off the glass. But the arms of Lopez going forever, which is why he's able to create for himself. Deep. And it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Kicks to Ennis. Some solid defense from Brown. Bucks trail by 13. Takes the three. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. Another miss by Philadelphia. For Milwaukee, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Outside Hill. Passes it to Lopez. Over Horford. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Lopez has got four points this quarter. Lopez is great at squaring himself up from mid-range. He's effective whenever he has a little bit of daylight to shoot. Pass to Ennis. Outside, Scott, the pass to Neto. Lopez with the steal. Here's Brown. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Richardson against Hill. 
Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Brown. Outside Hill. He kicks it to Lopez. Pass to Brown. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. They get a hand on it. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Corver. There's the triple. He can't get that one to fall. And Philadelphia the other way now. Ennis passes to Scott. Can they get it? And that's two points on the way. And the 76ers lead by 13. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Timeout called the Bucks. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Kyle O'Quinn comes in for Al Horford. And Harris subbed in for Josh Richardson. Milwaukee also making some changes. Giannis comes in for Robin Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Kyle Korver. And so here is Philadelphia following the three by Milwaukee. And here's Harris from the arc. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. Passes it to Connaughton. 40 seconds left in the third. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Embiid, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Brook Lopez is checked in for Ilyasova. good as he hits both of his shots two for one chance here let's see if they use the clock to their advantage Ennis taking his time here six to shoot from deep three-point range Neto can't get it to go it's three on three on the fast break. Hill has the open look. A shot's good. Brown making the play. Hill's got five now. And Hill's a player whose shot has to be respected. Inside. Lopez with the steal. And we'll be right back after this. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Then it's Ennis, then it's Simmons, and it's Neto in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. 
So it'll be Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting. That one on Harris. Wesley Matthews checked in for Brown. Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. The teardrop falls in. Simmons got 20. Playing to his strengths on the offensive end. Simmons, I mean, an added bonus whenever he catches fire. Giannis drives in, and it goes down two points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Neto finds Harris. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Neto. Lock at six. Simmons against Matthews. Milwaukee with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. The score now all even. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. And there's the pass to Harris. Here's Neto. Under the Kumbo defending. Harris against Hill. Poked away. Harris dishes to Simmons. A three-pointer no good. The Bucs have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Hill drives in and stolen by Harris. Simmons against Matthews. Simmons passes to Neto. On the wing, Harris. Broke loose. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And so it's Milwaukee with it. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Here's on to Takumbo. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Neto can't get it to go. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting reasonably well, 45%. Outside Hill. Pass to Lopez. Over Ennis. And again, the Bucks miss. Can't get anything to fall, but it hasn't gotten him down. I mean, he's still gunning. I guess he's still trying to contribute. Now here's Simmons, and they double up Simmons, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Oh, he's a real menace underneath. Once Simmons gets established position, you basically have to whack him. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Philadelphia. Al Horford is checked in for James Ennis, and it's Quirk Moss in for Raul Neto. Milwaukee also making some changes. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton, and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for George Hill. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Down low, here's Matthews. It's tipped. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. 
And there's the call on Joel Embiid. And that'll be his third foul so far. Timeout called the Bucks. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. And that one's good by Giannis. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Horford. Outside, Simmons. Five on the clock. Knocks it loose. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. That's an unforced error that will drive a coach crazy. Got to play heads up out there. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Simmons. Loads it up for Giannis. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And the shot is good. The Bucks' lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Ben Simmons. He's a tricky player. He's so difficult to guard. Simmons excels at going with the floater at the right time. Here's Korkmaz. He's covered by Matthews. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Wesley Matthews picks one up. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. That free throw good from Korkmaz. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's DiVincenzo. Lopez outside for three. No good. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Now here is Harris. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's foul number two for him. And the 76ers making a change here. Richardson's checked in. And beat inside. Lopez is there. That gives them the lead. And that's now seven points for Al Horford. Good at recognizing when the defense is overcommitted. I mean, Embiid is terrific at sharing the ball. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Anadokounmpo. Goes up on the block. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Credit to Deep for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. It's three on three on the fast break. And Giannis throws it down. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. Now here's Simmons. The pass to Harris. Oh, 
blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And you got to appreciate the length Lopez has. He's effective at using it to stifle shoot. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Throw good. Time out, time out. I like that he's playing with an edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. And Philadelphia calls time here. You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system they're in now, it, it just isn't getting it done. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. The 76ers trail by four. Richardson with it. To Horford. Shot clock at six. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Bucks on defense. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Tipped away. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. Here's DiVincenzo. Outed by Simmons. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. Richardson against Matthews. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Giannis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one is off. He's good on the second. And, and even though he couldn't get all of them to fall, he did make it a two-possession game. And Simmons kicks to Harris. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. To the paint, Matthew. And Matthews throws it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, G.A. Now, here's Richardson. Lopez with the block. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Al Horford. I mean, known for being a scorer, Embiid also is capable of finding his teammates and getting them going. Giannis outside. 
It's stolen by Harris. Kicks it to Embiid. Richardson against Matthews. Matthews with the steal. By himself. And Matthews throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. To the middle. And Giannis throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Simmons. Richardson outside. Shot clock at five. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Joel Embiid. And this is a testament to the concentration Embiid possesses. I mean, he's able to finish despite getting bodied up. Now, here's Adedekumbo. Over Horford. Adedekumbo can't get it to go. 76ers have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. That's tipped. And another turnover here by Philadelphia. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Simmons. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got six rebounds here tonight. Harris passes to Simmons. Back to Harris. Let's it go from deep. Rebound, Milwaukee. Onto the Kumbos. Got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Even Shenzo can't hit it. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but it hasn't been successful. And he comes up with the deuce. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. I like seeing Embiid rise to the occasion. He knows how to capitalize during important stretches of games. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Harris. Here's the lob. And the Kumbo throws down the alley-oop slam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now here's Simmons. Passes to Embiid. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Brooke Lopez. Uh, the height, quickness, the mobility uh, of Embiid, uh, what he possesses, uh, it, it's just amazing. He's daring the defense to whack him. It's the first, and that turns the lead to six. And the Hakeem Olajuwon comparisons, uh, they're somewhat legitimate. I mean, Embiid skill set and size is something you don't see very often. And so he hits both. And good, aggressive basketball on that trip. Drawing the foul, converting the free throws, and then also narrowing the gap. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Here's DiVincenzo. That three off the mark. Simmons inside. Lopez covering. Another miss by Philadelphia. Oh, man. As good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide open three like that. Here's DiVincenzo. Guarded by Harris. Drills it from outside. Gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and 11 assists. And the 76ers call time here. They're down by eight. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one.
There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Simmons inside. Harris against Middleton. Outside for Simmons. Six on the shot clock. Taken away. Here's DiVincenzo. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. Outside Matthews. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Congrats, Brooke, on the win. You guys were down, but you were able to overcome it. What does that say about your team? You know, I think uh, it shows our poise, you know. Um, we responded, you know. I think we were really uh, at our highest urgency level, and we came together as a team, and this time we held our lead in that. Well, maybe you'll continue to develop that killer instinct during the rest of the season. Thanks, Brooke. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.